Hey Esteban, was it just a case of not just being on track at the right times or was it tyre temperature? What, what no, went wrong? Unfortunately we had a battery related issue, um, so you know we lost quite a lot of, of lap times you know, on, on the straight lines and, and you know quite a lot of power in the end so you know that's obviously not ideal but um, but yeah I mean everything's possible here uh, conditions as you can see they are changing consistently and uh, you know we've done it in the past that uh, we came back in the points on Sunday so we'll try our best to, to do the, the same tomorrow. Generally speaking the top speed of the car is pretty good and around here you can overtake so like I said you, you are hoping that you can make some progress. Yeah exactly that that is the aim um, you know we've had good races in the past last year um, especially so that's not too long ago hopefully we can do the same. Hey Cheko what are your kind of overriding emotions after that qualifying? Well, it wasn't ideal, you know, uh, but in the other hand, it was not too disappointed in the in the way that um, towards the end I, I had so uh, just ahead, uh, right, right ahead of me. So my last two laps were not ideal, and um, maybe there was a bit more in it. Uh, but still, before I think we can fight from there. Yes, there you say in the car felt miles off. Did it feel better today? Yeah, I think certainly we found the issue, and hopefully tomorrow in the race we are able to be a lot more competitive. Hey Nicky, so good to see you in Q3, how does it feel? Yeah, obviously a, a very positive uh, qualifying session. I mean, I think just getting through the Q2 was already great. Um, and Q3 definitely more than we could have hoped for. You know, when it does rain, you obviously hope that there is opportunity. I mean, we saw where I was in the dry, which was, wasn't looking very competitive. Um, and yeah, just things were feeling good out of the box. And you know, you hope when it feels good that the lap time is also good as well. And in the past races, that hasn't really been the case. Uh, and, and today it was, it was the case, so that, that was obviously really positive and yeah, I mean, naturally there's a little bit of frustration with the, the off I had in Q3, but at that point there's, uh, you know, I'm so far out of, out of position and I think to be any up further than that was always going to be tricky and I must have had some, some damage after that because the car was a bit squirrely, so I think there wasn't really much point to set a lap that would have resulted in P10 anyways, to be honest. Um, so yeah, overall, yeah, satisfied with that for sure and I think, you know, what was really key as well is, you know, being in the right place at the right time and the team did a great job of that with the track positioning and um, yeah we got the laps when we needed to. It must be even more satisfying doing it with the older spec as well and generally speaking how today has gone that confidence must give you a lot of optimism for tomorrow. Yeah I mean I, I think um, you know naturally with the, the conditions you know for sure you're never gonna let's say see as as much the difference between the two car specs I mean you know there has obviously been some good analysis going on from the past sessions about the differences and you know I think there are some positive signs based off what we've seen on Alex's car uh, but yeah we, we know how how the rain could just change change everything up I mean my car is not the 10th fastest car clearly uh, on the grid but you know with the rain we managed to to do a great job as a team and, and put ourselves there so um, yeah tomorrow for the race it's most likely going to be dry. We're going to have a lot of car faster cars coming from behind. So we have to see what we can do at the end. We just have to still focus on our own race. And um, yeah, whatever the result's going to be is what it's going to be.